So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a recording session from a sound card. So this is a local recording going into our computer sound card. And so we are greeted with the create new log. We choose sound card from the options there and we decide on a log name. So this is going to be Hot FM, which is our radio station here. You can add in a description should you wish. It also tells you which directory it's going to store the recorded audio into. There's some various tabs along the top. Storage periods and formats this, uh, is where you can set how your audio is first recorded using a production format, just in case you want to reuse it for promos, etc. So I would suggest the best quality that you can. And then it converts it to a standard format after a certain number of days or hours and then it can also further convert it to an archive format um, if you're wanting to keep it for any length of time after that. You can also choose when the audio should be deleted. You will see down the bottom that at the moment my drive that I've selected to record onto is not large enough to record and store this log. The audio source, we've selected that it's going to be from a sound card and I've got a UA101 sound card here and so I've got various inputs, so I'm going to choose input 1 and 2 on the sound card. And we're going to record both channels. You can choose to record left or right if you wanted to. Also, if there's any hardware that you want to use, so if you have a PCI 1750 card or you're using the new broadcast radio hardware settings, then you can choose that if you want. And uh, that could display mic live and any other applications that you have going through the hardware service. After hardware, it's silence detector. You can choose whether or not to enable any silence detection in your log, which will be marked up separately. And you've got various options there as to the threshold, which channels it is that are silent, and also to when to trigger the silence. You can also choose to pulse a hardware line as well, You've got that connected that could uh, flag something up in your studio. Uh, we'll take a look at how you can send off silence detection emails later in a later video. The final tab is metadata and uh, this is where you can choose to add metadata from your DAB stream from a Twitter feed or from your now playing information coming directly off Myriad Playout. But we'll look at those in future videos. So we click on save and that will create our new log. It's asking here if we want to share the directory, which can be useful if you want others to be able to navigate to that folder and play audio. So there you go, new log has been saved and it's starting. And so you can see here that our new log has started, Hot FM, and we shall just plug some audio into it. There's some audio and uh, the audio is going up uh, up and down on the right hand side and you can see in the center here that we are logging the source is input one and two on my sound card it's going to my e drive to uh, myriad logging v5 data hot fm no metadata we're not taking any metadata and we can also see the drive space used and in the window below you can see that every minute a new wav file is created and this will enable us to play back those web files in Myriad Logging Playback, which there's another video available for 